Good afternoon, viewers. My name is Ava, and I'm here today as your host uh, for the Greater West Town Training Partnership. And along with me is Mr. William Molina for the Shipping and Receiving Program, and he's going to discuss the program itself. So, William, can you tell us a little bit about what it has to offer? Okay, well, Greater West Town is a not-for-profit organization, and we run vocational training programs for adults. And we have a shipping and receiving training program where people can come in and, and pick up some good, valuable skills that will help them in the world of work, make themselves more marketable. Okay. Uh, what types of jobs are available to the shippers and receivers? Well, shipping and receiving is, is, is a great uh, job, Ava, because of the fact that it's universal. I mean, you could do shipping and receiving anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world, for that matter. Anybody who manufactures a product, uh, no matter large or small companies, they need people to receive goods and ship goods out. And it's a lot more than just shipping and receiving. They, they also do order picking, packing, computer inventory control, a lot a host of other skills. So um, the shipping and receiving training program would be, a, would be a great advantage for someone who's sitting there at home wondering, what am I going to do with myself? And, and, uh, and they're having a hard time getting a job and competing in the market. So um, I, I highly recommend that uh, people would pick up the phone and give us a call and find out more information about the shipping and receiving training program. Okay, with saying that, we're going to give the viewers the information as to where the training uh, facility is at and the phone number that they can call, okay? Yeah, we're located right in, we're located in Chicago uh, at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard. And people can come in and just uh, give it, or you can walk in and, and get more information or you can give us a call at 312-563-9028. And someone will be there to greet you and, and, and uh, on Wednesdays at 8.45, we have orientation stuff. So somebody will be there to greet you when you come in, and you, you can sit down through the process and learn more about the program. Okay. Um, what are some of the qualities that a person would need for uh, the training? I say that the, the best quality would be um, a good attitude, a proper attitude. If you're coming in and you really have a desire to learn something, then this is a program that I recommend for you. We have a caller, I think. I think you have a caller. Yes, somebody's calling in. Okay, so we have a caller. Hi. Go ahead, caller. I, I wanted to know the requirements to get into the shipping and receiving training program. Hey, you just need to be 18 years or older. You could be a Chicago resident or around the uh, outlying areas around Chicago. Um, it, it's for men or women, uh, and it's uh, open to anybody that's interested in trying to advance and get some skills for the program. You don't need a high school diploma, so... Um, we will also provide assistance with that. We'll help you. If you need help with your GED, we can also do that as well. Help you with that while you're there. Okay, do we have a... Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, do we have another caller? We'll find out. So, Hi. you have another caller. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. How much is that program cost? It sounds like it's expensive. Uh, the good thing is that you see other programs where they advertise and you have to get financial loans and all this and put yourself in a difficult financial situation. The good thing about Greater West Town is that at no cost to all eligible participants. So if you're interested in the program, just come on in and it's, it's not going to cost you any money. As a matter of fact, we also provide you a stipend for car fare so you can make it to and from the program. <laughs> If you say no cost and, and I get transportation, is that what you said? I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I said no, it's, it's at no cost. And yes, we do provide uh, transportation for any individual that qualifies for the program. Well, that's great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Okay, we have another caller. Oh, the lines are hot today, huh? I'm telling you. Hello? Hi. Uh, I just wanted to know if you have program advisors or student advisors in place that could assist with, I don't know, resources or support services that might be needed? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, we do have an individual that would deal with a client services coordinator. So anybody that may have certain difficulties or needs assistance or needs some direction, we do have someone there that will provide that information for you. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you for calling. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Uh, William, what type of skills do they have to have upon entry? Like, do they have to have 
a high school diploma or a certain math level or um, well, this is the computers. This is the advantage of the program that you might come in and say, I've been out of school for a long time, and, and some people come in and that's what they fear. Wow, I've been out of school 10, 15, 20 years or whatever. And uh, so they have a concern about, am I able to do this? Do I have the academic skills? Well, uh, we, have, we provide a math and English class along with the training program in order to help enhance the skills that you have. And uh, no, you don't need a high school diploma. And as far as computers are concerned, we have a state-of-the-art computer lab, and we have somebody that will be teaching uh, the individuals, individuals that come to the program computer skills. So you learn entry-level computer skills so that way you get familiar, and then we have a little more advanced as time goes along throughout the program. Because, of course, you will be doing computerized inventory control and computerized work. So uh, they, you, don't worry, don't fear, come on in, and you'll get the support that you need in order to be uh, successful. So we have an, a holistic approach. Okay, so what type of jobs are available once you complete the course for shipping and receiving? Well, as I stated earlier, you the, the, it's, it's universal. I mean, there's all kinds of jobs. You have uh, order pickers, packers. You have people that um, will do the shipping, people that do the receiving. Also working in the warehouse, learning how to place stock in, in, in the proper location. I mean, it's just a, a vast array of skills. There's also customer service involved because, you know, when people call in or somebody comes to the, the door, receiving door, and they're, they're picking up an order, you know, you have to have also good customer service skills. So uh, it's, it's, it's a great job with a, a lot of opportunities and uh, it's many avenues that you can take and explore in order to advance and be successful with the shipping receiving training program. Okay, you mentioned... Um forklifts, but what if an individual doesn't drive? Do they have to have a driver's license? Well, no. As a matter of fact, if a person doesn't have a driver's license, I mean, it would, it would be good. It's, it's great because some employers like for somebody to have a driver's license, but it's not a requirement. You get what's called your forklift certification. So you'll first go through the process of learning uh, the science of forklifts and how they work and operate. You'll learn an extensive amount of safety because safety is one of our biggest concerns. We always want to make sure that our employees are safe. Um, and then you'll have you'll get uh, practice on actual forklifts uh, after you've been received the orientation and the education as to how it works. And then you'll do some obstacle courses. You'll 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 get full extensive training on seven different vehicles. So we have uh, stand up forklifts, uh, sit down forklifts, propane, electric, pallet riders, and so on. We also have cherry pickers, and we teach you how to operate them. Uh, now, as far as driving, some people just don't have the knack to drive, you know, don't have the sense of direction. So uh, there's pallet jacks they can use, which are, they should be able to work with that. And there's other equipment that doesn't require as much intensity as far as for maneuverability and so on that they can handle. Okay, I see we have another caller. Hello? Hi, I was wondering uh, what type of companies uh, would uh, graduates be placed at uh, after completing your program? Uh, it's a variety of companies. I mean, uh, it could be big box companies, it, it could be food companies, clothing companies, anybody who manufactures or, or sells or purchases any type of, of goods, uh, they're going to need somebody that has experience to receive those goods and to ship those goods out. It so, sounds great. Uh, do, you, do you work with uh, big retailers in the city or is, uh, would this be uh, something that would be for smaller companies? No, as a matter of fact, we work small, medium, large companies. It doesn't matter, and they, they don't have to be in the city. They're in the outskirts of this uh, of Chicago, so we work in. Uh, there's various suburbs also. They have companies, so uh, there's a wide range of opportunities available to anybody that uh, would be afforded the opportunity. Sorry, thank you very much for answering. Thank you for calling. Great, uh, William. Can you give me information like uh, on a typical day there at the training facility? Well, it's like you're going back to a structured environment. And I know a lot of people, you're not used to being in school for a while. You know, you've been out of school for, uh, you know, 10 years, 15 years, whatever. When you come in, you're going to have to get used to going to class because you're going to be, part of it is held in the classroom because we're going to teach you how to uh, fill out forms, how to do your do all the documentation. Uh, you'll learn how to interpret a lot of the lingo that is used in shipping and receiving logistics and so on. So once you get through that aspect, the great thing about it is you're not in class all day long. You, we, we, we have an actual warehouse environment. We have two warehouses, and you'll be working within those warehouses. Now, in the warehouse, you get to practice the skills that you learned while you were in the classroom. So on a daily basis, you'll be switching classes. You'll have math, you'll have English, and you'll have your, 
your shipping and receiving classes, your UPS world ship. And, and I can't stress how important it is for somebody to, to pick up these skills because you go from job to job and you hop around but and you don't last at a job. And when you, when you want longevity at a job, you have to have what to offer that employer. So if you have a, a vast array of skills, technical skills, that makes you more marketable and it creates great opportunities for you to expand in, 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 in your horizons. So uh, we highly recommend that a person come in for that. So working in the warehouse is a great thing because you're actually doing UPS world ship on the computers and that's something that employers use a lot, okay? Uh, you have your computerized inventory control using your barcode scanning. As you know that now with the world of technology, everything's becoming so technological, you have to have these types of skills. And so that's something that takes place in the warehouse. So when you're there, you're actually, it's like you're on the job. You know, you're not just coming into school and that's it. You're actually going out there, you're getting to practice what you've learned. So you're actually picking orders. You're, you're packing orders. You're uh, uh, staging your orders once they're done. You learn how to use the stretch wrap machine, which is electric, or you learn how to do it manually. You will learn how to use the forklifts in order to engage those loads. We actually have a trailer on the premises where you learn to load uh, stock on the trailer, and that's something that's really important. And I don't think there's anybody out there that I know that offers that type of training. Um, so it's a vast array of skills. You're going to feel like you're on the job. You're actually going out and scanning goods. Uh, you're picking goods. And you're doing just like you're doing the actual job. As a matter of fact, we've had visitors come by, and they think it's an actual company that's working, and it's actually our students in practice. Uh, so everything that you would do in the actual world of work, you would do there. We run a mock distribution company. You get to practice, and those skills then would be easy to transition into the world of work. So that's the great thing about it. You're going to learn the real deal. It's, it's, it's a no-nonsense way of learning uh, a, a valuable skill that's going to make you marketable and help create a future, a financial future for yourself. Okay, great. So once an individual uh, decides that they're going to take this the class, this course, with all this hands-on experience, um, what about job placement or job skills or job, you know, on the job or, you know, the transition between the two after the course is completed? then what's the next step? Well, we provide a lot of support for our students. We, Our students, we, we go out there, we have a vast array of employers that we work with because I wanted to touch a little bit upon the, we have a uh, employment advisory, so employee advisory. So we have actual employers that sit on this committee with us as an advisory committee, and we meet uh, a couple times a year, and they actually review our curriculum, and they let us know what's in and what's out, what we're doing right, keep doing it, and what we should change. So that way our material is up to date with what's going out there in the real market. And so they also believe in the program and they bought into the program and they hire our people. So they will not only provide advice, but they will also interview our people for us, practice interview with our people, and many times they hire our people. And so that gives us a great, uh, how can I say, a, a, a good way of seeing what we need to do when we're reaching out to our employers. And we have a, quite a strong employer base. So we have jobs that are out there. We have employers that call us. We, we provide a free service to employers as well. So if an employer is looking for somebody, they can find somebody that actually has the training, that's been through 12 weeks of training, that we can tell them that they show up every day on time, that they, they're good workers because we're actually seeing that. So they've been tested and proven. So if an employer needs somebody, this is a service that's great for an employer. It's free. I mean, they call us up and they say, I need a forklift driver. I need an order picker. We, we try to do what's called job matching. So we try to find people that will be the adequate person to do that specific job. And then we look at location where they live, where the company's at, and try to make that match so that way we can, uh, more or less, we can't guarantee anything, but have a greater rate of success as far as longevity on the job. So uh, a person receives a lot of support. Once they, they graduate from the program, it's not over when you graduate. We, follow, we do follow up with our, with our students. We make sure that you're doing well on the job. And if there's certain issues, you can give us a call. We will work with the employer because we have that connection. And we try to assist in whatever areas may, uh, any may, difficulties may arise. So employers receive 100% support. And one more thing I'd like to add is that if, an, let's say you lose your job after a couple of years, you know, you can come back. And, and we try to help place you again. You know, you become part of something and part of a community program, and this is something that you become a part of probably for life. Okay, great. What are some of the challenges that an individual might face once they've been accepted into the program? Well, I think the biggest challenge that people have is with themselves. You know, breaking the bad habits, like running in at the last minute, you know, getting up in the morning on time, uh, making sure that you catch that bus and that train, you know, and, and just 
getting providing yourself with the discipline that's necessary for you to do this on an ongoing basis. That's why training is so important. Because when a person comes in, they know, you know, we, we correct, we talk, we say, hey, you can't be late, hey, you have to be on time. So we're not only their teachers, we're their supervisors. So we correct them, we will sit down with them, and we will, just like a job, just like a real job. And so people need to overcome those barriers. And of course, there's always other things, you know, uh, that happen, you know, appointments with doctors, uh, child care issues. So we try to nip, nip all that in the bud before a person is placed on a job. So that time that they're with us, they get a chance to set everything in order in order for them to be successful because, yeah, obstacles come, you know, and, and some people have a low self-esteem. Some people just have uh, lost confidence. And the training program is great because we instill a lot of confidence. We have a uh, what's called a life skills class. And in that life skills class, we provide a lot of information, valuable information on how to be successful on the job. So it's a complete holistic approach. I think you have another caller that's interested. Caller, are you there? Hi, uh, yeah. I, I wanted to know, you know, for someone like me, what, what if I have a background? Can I, can I do the program? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, we're open to everyone. People come in, you fill out an application, we, we handle everything on a case-by-case -case basis. But we do help people with, uh, that are ex-offenders, and we've been pretty successful at it, and we've placed a lot of people that have had a pass. You know, we do have employers that believe in second chances and employers that are forgiving. So, yes, there's opportunities for people with backgrounds as well. It, 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 it's a big warehouse? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty big warehouse. It's over ten, I would say about 17,000 square feet or more. Um, so, so it's, it's pretty big. It's, it's enough for you to get the practice that you need to drive a forklift. It's enough for you to get the practice and feel of what it is to work in an actual warehouse environment. You have like pictures I can see? Unfortunately, today we didn't have any pictures with us. Uh, our USB wasn't working. But um, we promise the next time we're on, which we, maybe next month, we'll have pictures for you to see. And uh, we can, if you want, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a better offer. Every Wednesday at 845, instead of pictures, you can see the real life uh, performance itself. You can come in on Wednesday at 845 in the morning for orientation. Uh, you'll get a tour of the facility. you get to see everything that we do and how we do it. And that's much better than pictures. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. So in a minute, viewers, we're going to flash across the screen the information that you need in order to contact us and where you can contact us. And just like William stated, is every Wednesday at 8.45 and the location. So we'll give you that. But I have a, a question for William as well. I want to ask what type of companies are the graduates placed at after they've completed the course? Well, like I said, there's a variety of companies. You know, there's this big box companies. We mainly work with manufacturers. So a lot of manufacturing companies, candy companies, uh, companies that manufacture goods. Um, it, it's just such a wide variety of different types of companies to mention. And, and there's a variety of positions because, you know, they need forklift drivers, they need order pickers, packers, shipping and receiving people, you know, customer service. So it's quite a, it, it's a wide array of positions that people are placed on. Okay, great. So let's uh, flash the information for them. Okay, viewers, as you can see, that's Greater West Town Training Partnership for Shipping and Receiving Training Program. We're located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard at Chicago, Illinois, 60612. And the number for contact is 312-563-9028. We also have the website on there, so you can do the www Facebook. And we also have the email where you can email us for additional information if needed. So we have a training program that will be starting, I think, in mid-June, what we'll start doing the orientations for. So if you're interested, don't hesitate to pick that phone up. It's a great career. It's something that will last you for a lifetime if you go through this training program. So we're looking forward to hearing from you. Yeah, don't just sit at home and, and, and ponder about it. You know, action, you have to take action. Uh, tomorrow never comes today. You need to get on that phone. If you're wondering, what can I do with myself? I need a job. Don't bounce from job to job. Work somewhere for two weeks, three weeks, and get laid off because you don't have skills. Get yourself a job that can lead to a career, and that's why this is a great opportunity. We ask people to call on in. Check it out. you got nothing to lose. Uh, they said no cost. There's no obligation. And uh, when you come in, you can, you can uh, learn quite a bit about what Greater West Side has to offer and the shipping and receiving training, what it has to offer as well. So, okay, we gave them information. You also shared with them about the orientation. So what should they be looking for in the orientation when they come? 
That's a good question. When you come into orientation, somebody will be there to greet you and they'll give you some information and they'll uh, give you an agenda. When you walk in, you'll sit in the classroom and you'll see, uh, we show a short brief video to give you an idea about uh, logistics and marketing and so on. Um, the different types of companies and the different type of things that are done in shipping and receiving. Uh, you also get a small mini workshop where you learn some really valuable skills on interviewing and, and how to get a job and so on. I'm a, I want to elaborate a little bit later about that. Um, and then you get a tour of the facility. And when you go around, it, it's really something else when you go there and you see it with your own eyes. It's a really state-of-the-art facility. We have all the equipment that's needed to, to train you. And you get to ask as many questions as you want. You get to learn a lot about uh, the program. And you get to meet some of the instructors and so on. You'll see the computer lab. And we also have what we like to brag about. It's a wall of fame where students that graduate, not only do you get a certificate, but there's a plaque that's made, and your name is etched on there, and it's put up for, for history uh, of your success, and it'll be there for until we're there. So uh, we've had, since the inception of the program, we have quite a few plaques because we started uh, back in 1990. So it's, it's uh, a great thing to see and a great thing to be a part of, to have your name etched in history. Um, so the orientation is a great opportunity for you to see a lot of things. Uh, that I'm, I'm telling you, once you go, you'll be very encouraged. So uh, pick up the phone, get, make, a, make an appointment. You can call the number that we had flashed earlier, um, and uh, somebody will set you up for an appointment for Wednesday. Or if you didn't get a chance to call still, don't hesitate to walk in on Wednesday at 8.45 in the morning. This is every Wednesday at 8.45 in the morning until the training starts. You're welcome to come in. Um, I wanted to, if I can, elaborate a little bit about uh, the job readiness process. We also have a component that's a job readiness component where you'll learn how to answer those real difficult questions like why should I hire you and what skills are you bringing to the table? How long would it take you to make an impact if hired? Um, how to discuss salary professionally? Um, how to answer those difficult questions that sometimes trap you? Yeah, so we do mock interviewing. We will give you questions and answers. We will get you totally ready to, to interview when you go out and to build that confidence. There's nothing better than to, <laughs> to knowing that you're prepared. So when you go out there, you know how to answer those questions. Another thing is we, we help you compose a resume. So we will sit down with you, help you format your resume, how to do the, the wording of the resume professionally, uh, and then we will help you type your own resume. Once the resume is typed, we save it on our server, so that way for the future you need to update it, we have it for you. Um, you also learn life skills, you know, very important skills, like uh, how to work with others, uh, problem solving, all the things that you would need to be successful on the job. Because one of the things that we've encountered over the years, it's not so much getting a job. Getting a job, yes, it's work. But I think it's a, a harder job for some people to keep their jobs. So you're going to learn how to retain that job while you're there. Because you're getting the practice plus in the job readiness class, you're going to learn a lot of information regarding you know how to deal with difficult situations and how to handle problems on the job. So the job readiness component is very essential, very crucial, and it, so you're getting the whole nine yards, the whole the whole pie, people. Make that call. Call us up for Greater West Town, and uh, it's one call you're not going to regret, and you're going to be happy because you're going to have a skill, and it's all at no cost. And we will provide you with the car for to get there. No excuses that I don't have money for the bus or money for the car or gas. We got you. Okay. William, I have another question. Uh, the students, once they're there, will they ever get to see or visit any of these places, these, the manufacturing, the warehouses uh, that you've spoken about? We have, um, we do company tours. We do company tours, and um, in those company tours, they get to visit a lot of the companies that we work with, and uh, it, it's a great experience for them, and the employers are really great about letting us in so they can see exactly what they do and how they do it. Okay, viewers, what we're going to do, we're going to flash the information that you need again in order to get in contact with us. So I have your pen and paper handy, and here it is. Once again, this is the Greater West Town Training Partnership. It's the Shipping and Receiving Training Program. We're located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The phone number for contact is 312-563-9028. We also have a website, so you can go www.facebook.com slash Greater West Town, or you can email us. So, uh, you're all set. There's the information. Once again, it's a wonderful career. It's something that will last you an entire lifetime, and it travels well. So, give us a call. Thank you. Thank you for having us.